one question which my patients ask me people come for keyhole spine surgery or minimal invasive spine surgery and they keep and the question which is in their brain is are their diseases which they are suffering from are treatable by keyhole spine surgery or not this answer is very it's not like a single surgery will fit for everyone some diseases are better treated by keyhole spine surgery than an open spine surgery and some diseases are treated better by an open spine surgery than a keyhole spine surgery so let me elaborate what are the diseases which can be treated by a keyhole spine surgery one disease which is very commonly treated by keyhole spine surgery of the spine is sciatica or a slip disc this sciatica particularly when it is on unilateral by unilateral i mean when the pain is radiating to one leg and not the both the legs secondly when the sciatica sciatica is confined or the slip disc is confined to one level or at the maximum two levels these are the conditions where they are better treated by keyhole spine surgery apart from this you will be evaluated by an mri of the spine which gives a very detailed view of your slip disc your surgeon will be able to evaluate each and every level in the spine with a high degree of magnification clarity so uh, after evaluating this mri your surgeon will decide whether your slip disc is better treated by an open spine surgery or a microscopic spine surgery or an endoscopic spine surgery to give a broader view we can say that around 80 to 85% of the slip disc can be treated by keyhole spine surgery in my experience and 15% of the cases will require a microscopic spine surgery or an open spine surgery second common pathology which can be treated by minimal minimal invasive spine surgery is spondylolisthesis spondylolisthesis is a disease where your spinal vertebrae are the bones which form your spinal cord have slip they have they have slip along with the disc that is they move front and back in relation to each other these diseases can also be treated by minimal invasive spine surgery or percutaneous spine surgery thank you